Once again, I find myself in the same situation I was in a few weeks ago. I have a camera body that I'm really excited about, but no lens for it. This, this is the Mamiya RB67. I found it on eBay and I bought it as a little gift to myself on my birthday with the promise of saving up to buy a lens. But if you know me, I'm super impatient. So I thought to myself, what can I sell to get a lens right now? So I started looking around the house to see what I could get rid of. Should I sell these lenses? Nah. What about these video games? I'll probably get like two bucks for them at GameStop. Is there anything in Steph's office I can sell? Nope. What about this Kobe jersey? Yeah, right. But then I looked under the credenza and I found something I haven't touched in months. The Oculus Quest 2. So the next morning I threw it up on IG stories and within five minutes it was sold. I hopped right back on eBay and found the lens that I wanted, the Secor 90mm f3.8 lens. Next thing you know, I get a knock at the door from the DHL dude. And guess what? It's my lens that came directly from China. Now I know what you're thinking. What's the first thing you're gonna go shoot with this camera? Well, how about we just start the video? Hey, what's going on y'all? Tristan here, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, y'all, I went and got myself another medium format camera. This time I got the Mamiya RB67 that I've actually had on my radar for a while now, even before I picked up the Pentax 645. It's definitely a step up from the Pentax 645, um, but it doesn't mean that I'll be using it any less. Um, I'll pretty much be splitting time with both of these cameras. Um, I just really still love my Pentax 645, and really I've only had it for, for two months. Now, I went out to shoot with the RB67 a couple of days ago, and I have to say it's a bit of a learning curve coming from the Pentax 645 um, because this camera is completely manual as opposed to my Pentax. Um, I pretty much have that set on aperture priority and it does its thing. Now, the one thing I wasn't aware of was the fact that you have to dial in your settings on the actual lens and not the body itself, which is different for me, but I think that's actually really, really cool. Another thing that was different for me was being able to switch between portrait and landscape uh, by rotating the film back. This is something that was definitely new to me, um, but it makes sense because this is a really heavy camera body and it'd be super awkward to have to rotate the entire thing to get a portrait. Now I feel like a complete idiot because after shooting my first three frames, I realized that I left the dark slide in, which wasn't great but you live and you learn. <laughs> anyway, I wanna go ahead and show you all some images that I took at Strands Beach during sunset. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to get these shots. And then later on that day during sunset, we went to Thousand Steps Beach. So take a look. <music> Overall, um, I love these photos and I think I did a decent job uh, for my first time shooting with this camera with such a steep learning curve. Now, I say all that despite the light leaks, which I'm sure you all noticed, and they seem to appear in the same exact spot in all of these frames. And I shot with two different rolls of film, which leads me to believe that there's an issue with the camera. So I may have to return it and find a new one. I'm not paying to get it repaired. Now, my favorite image out of the bunch is this one right here. And again, I, I hate that light leak. It just ruins the shot for me. But just imagine if it wasn't there. I just love how it's framed and how the palm trees in the background are in focus along with the ocean. I think it's a great shot. But uh, let me know what you all think. Um, if you have a favorite image, make sure you comment down below. Um, I just had a brain fart.
Pretty soon, I actually want to start taking portraits of, of people. Um, so if you're in LA and you need headshots or something, you want to do something really cool, something artsy, um, let me know. I would love to link up with some of you guys. Um, but that's what I'm that's what I want to move towards eventually. Just straight up um, people portraits, portraits of people. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, um, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification. So when I do upload, you get notified and until that next upload are you guys enjoying these film videos i know um it's, it's definitely been been a shift because i used to do gear reviews a lot um that's not going away but i'm so heavily obsessed with film so that's what these videos have been about mostly but let me know if you guys enjoy this anyway i'm out of here y'all i'm rambling see you in the next video peace